it's completely dry. In Nevado, California, Patricia Rabbit shows me a dry wildlife preserve that's right next to a Costco, which has plans to build a mega gas station with 14 pumps. Rabbits is part of a lawsuit aiming to stop the construction. If you go on their website, you will see a climate action plan that actually seems very aggressive. But what they don't address is that their business plan is to put these mega gas stations at every Costco where they can get approval. What is well known about Costco gas stations is that they usually have really long lines of people who are idling their cars. In the state of California, efforts to put the squeeze on the gasoline economy are finding some success. In March, Petaluma became the first U.S. city to ban the future construction of gas stations and the addition of new pumps to existing stations. The coalition opposing new gas stations, or CONGAS, started a movement in California's Sonoma County when a few people came together to stop the approval of a new fueling site. We just thought this was a one-off, one gas station, and we were celebrating, and then we heard about another gas station application of several miles away, and then another one in Santa Rosa, and we began to realize that these gas stations are popping up all over the place, and we thought there shouldn't be new gas stations being built in 2021. In fewer than six months, the group's effort has produced major results. Sonoma County's Regional Climate Protection Authority just adopted a resolution urging the county and all of its cities to prohibit the construction of new gas stations. The reality is gasoline sales in California have been essentially flat for the last 10 years. And in fact, the governor has issued an executive order ending the registration of new gas powered cars in California by 2035. So if I were a gas station developer, I would be looking at this stuff and thinking twice. Congas is also helping to mentor the next generation high school students like Alicia Koresh and Emily Bitt, who started the project Fossil Free Future. They regularly speak at city council meetings in their hometown of American Canyon, which has had temporary moratoriums on building new gas stations. It's important that we start reducing our carbon footprint now, because I'm only 17 years old, and um, we really don't have that much time since it's already starting to affect us to this extent now. What's it gonna be like when I'm gonna be in my 30s? Emily Bitt began looking for ways to fight climate change after wildfires destroyed the homes of two friends and forced her grandparents to evacuate. We actually found out that transportation is the largest contributor to climate change, especially in California. We want to hold people in positions of power responsible because they actually have the power to do something. Um, so we thought it would be best to stop building new gas stations rather than asking people to invest in a different type of car which will take years and years when we can have this quick fix right now. The students hope it's just a matter of time before new gas station moratoriums not only become permanent but also spread well beyond city and state lines. Mark New, CGTN, American Canyon, California.